Hi, I work to induct units by medical engineering lab. Gel electrophoresis is a common lab procedure in which PCR product made up of template DNA and other compounds is loaded into a gel and image analysis would identify the DNA. However, this whole process is very time consuming with the whole procedure taking around two hours to complete and very resource heavy with its expensive dyes and lab equipment. That's why my mentor and I worked to create a cheaper and faster alternative to gel electrophoresis by looking at two strains of E. coli, 0157 with an amplicon length of 408 base pairs and K12 with an amplicon length of 1,121 base pairs. We find that with increasing amplicon length, interfacial tension of the PCR product should decrease. We also find that interfacial tension and capillary flow are directly proportional to each other using the Lucas-Washburn equation. Thus, if we find differences in capillary flow, we can ultimately identify the strain of bacteria within each PCR product. Just through our mechanism of recording a droplet of each PCR product flowing through a piece of nitrocellulose paper and analyzing the video of its flow using a code written in MATLAB. We found compelling results from this. We find K12 to have the lowest capillary flow, then 0157, then the no template control. We also find interfacial tension to follow a similar trend, suggesting that interfacial tension is the driving mechanism behind these trends. Thus, our hypothesis matches perfectly with our results. We believe that with this, it, our capillary flow model is likely a dependable alternative to gel electrophoresis as it is just as accurate, but it only requires five minutes to complete versus gel electrophoresis is two hours. This quickness combined with its cheaper materials creates it for a much more accessible DNA identification model. This is really important in places like Arizona where we have seen numerous um, outbreaks of E. coli in the past. Thus, with our model, we can identify outbreaks and prevent mass infections in the future. Thank you.